Here's problem 24.3. A uniform charge density of 500 nanocombs per cubic meter is distributed through a spherical volume of radius 16 centimeters. Consider a cubicle 4 centimeter along an edge surface completely inside the sphere. Determine the electric flux through this surface. All right, let's imagine what's going on here. We've got a large spherical surface and inside we've got a little cube at the center. Dimensions of the cube are four centimeters on a, an edge and the radius of this large sphere is 16 centimeters, 0.16 meters. And throughout this volume of this sphere is a charge density and the density of that charge, rho, is 500 nanocombs per cubic meter. So if I knew what the volume of the sphere was, I could figure out the total charge within, within the sphere. We want to find the flux through the surface of the little cube, though. Now, as I'm looking at the little cube, I'll just look at kind of expand it here. There's going to be flux from the outside coming in due to the surface charge density, and the surface charge density is positive. So there's going to be positive flux that's going into this cube from the charge, the positive charge that exists outside of this cube. But all that flux is going to go right through the cube. So all this flux will go in and out. And so the positive flux from externally is going to add no net flux to the flux through this cube. So really, we need to concern ourselves only with the charge that is inside this cube, because that will give us a net positive flux exiting the cube. The charge that resides inside will have flux lines just going outward and not through. So if we could calculate the total charge that is inside this cube, we could calculate the net flux through the cube. All right, so we need to find the volume of this cube, and it is a cube, so the volume of a cube would be the length cubed, so that is going to be 4 centimeters, 0 0.04 meters cubed, and that is going to give us a volume of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters. So that means that the charge inside this cube is going to be the charge density times this volume. The density is the amount of charge per volume. So this is going to be 500 nanocoulombs per meter cubed times 6.4 times 10 to the minus 5 meters cubed. And that will give us the charge in nanocoulombs. So that is 0 0.032 nanocombs, or I could say that the charge is equal to 3.2, a nanocomb is 10 to the minus 9, so that's going to be 3.2 times 10 to the minus 11 coulombs. That is the total charge inside the cube. If we want to find the net flux due to this total charge, net flux will be equal to the charge enclosed over epsilon naught. That is going to be 3.2 times 10 to the minus 11 over 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And that will give us the net flux through this cube. That gives me 3.2 six two newton meter squared per coulomb. It's positive because it's all exiting from inside this cube, this positive charge, and that is our net flux through this surface, through this little cube. So the uh, radius of the sphere, which was 16 centimeters, was extraneous information. We didn't have to know what that radius was. Um, because 
that it didn't have any figuring on the net flux going through this little cube. Thank you.